This show is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Visit betterhelp.com slash Padilla because sometimes existing is exhausting. My name is Anthony Padilla and I spend a day with people with Down syndrome. We'll hear how bullying and use of the R word has impacted them to this day and how a drive to live fully enriched lives has resulted in independence, romantic relationships, and even starring in a major feature film. By the end of this video, we'll find out if living with this disorder has led them down a thriving path of love and self-acceptance or if the harsh judgments and assumptions forced upon them have broken their hearts and pushed them to feel isolated from the rest of society. Hello, Kennedy. Hi. Matthew. Hello. Zach. Hey. Can you define what Down syndrome is? Down syndrome is the most common genetic disorder. Down syndrome affects the the third copy of the 21st chromosome and it affects one out of 700 babies. How does Down syndrome affect you personally? For me, it, it takes longer to, to do and, and, and learn things. I work at a slower pace. People with Down syndrome for to have more of a routine. What are some of the ways that Down syndrome has affected the way you look? Smaller bridge on the nose, short neck, almond shaped eyes, and a single crease on your palms. Mm, so one crease right here instead of two? Yeah. The cool thing is that these traits help us identify each other. When you see someone else that has these traits, do you feel like you're part of a secret club with them? I think so. <laughs> Since we wear our diagnosis, on our face, people tend to have low expectations until they get to fully know us. Do you remember when you first discovered that you have Down syndrome? Well, I was seven. My mom walked up to me and said, you have Down syndrome. The first time was in, in first grade. I, I repeated first gra grade. My mom, she did tell me before I was three years old. Do you remember what you thought when your mom told you that you have Down syndrome? I was like, so scared. I feel so anxious to have that. Yeah. I have that in team. My mom keeps saying that word in my head. It keeps me, you know, really uncomfortable. In middle school, I knew I had Down syndrome, but I didn't know how it truly affected me until freshman year. I have a, a friend and I kept talking to her in the hallway, building everything out on, on her and she helped me through. What do you think is the most difficult thing for you to do in your daily life? To find better jobs. Most people doesn't feel like to hire a Down syndrome person. Transportation. People with Down syndrome tend to rely on their caregivers for transportation. People with Down syndrome have a slower mentality, so I don't want to risk in, in, in crashing. Have you ever been bullied? for having Down syndrome? No, I think that's partially because I've been fully in included in, the, in the, the school system. They usually pick on me and, and take off my glasses and stomp it and just break it. They are not a very nice people. Shut up or retard it and oh, he, 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 someone's wearing a hair on it or wearing a glasses with me. And, into my stomach and they don't apologize to me. I was trying to be their friends and they didn't go for respect. That must be heartbreaking. You were trying to be their friend and then they disrespected you like that. Mm -hmm. Did you try to report it? Did you try to do anything about it? I always go for teachers and principal and they didn't solve the problem. They always have something through their heads. I don't get any of the respect from them at all. If they won't be your friends, just do it without them. Just keep on going uh, forward. You keep going forward toward a happy place. You don't get caught up in the past and your memories and what things used to be like. You keep your sights forward. Oh, yes. How do you feel when people use the R word. It's really helpful because ever since I was in middle school, always some people are bullying me but said, you're retarded. No, do not say that R word. Change that to respect. I think that word is like a no-go word. And it basically implies that people with 
any intellectual and developmental disability are stupid and, and, and the truth is that we and I are not stupid. Anya wants to know how you feel about the assumption that people with Down syndrome are always happy. We have the same emotions and feelings as everyone else. We're happy, we're sad, we're excited. We have our off, off days. I get sad, I get angry, I get mad, and when I get hungry because I <laughs> eat. <laughs> Did you ever feel like you had to try to fit in with other neurotypical kids? At first, in freshman year, I was like, I felt isolated and jealous of what everyone has. These people are just doing stuff that I wish I, I, I could do. Pursuing a higher level of, of education, doing more, pursuing a career. And, and I felt like I, could, I couldn't have that. Do you think that you were jealous of the fact that people could do those things? Or do you think that you are more jealous of the fact that those things seem to come easier for other people? M more naturally and, and felt like that I, I, I wanted to do, to do more. I, I felt like I, I wanted to be like them. How has your perception of yourself changed from when you were younger? Totally have confidence and plenty of friends and they always support me. I have a, a very strong network of, of friends with, with Down syndrome and, and, and a really good network of friends that don't have disabilities. And I have a, a very strong commitment in, in wanting to do more. Like I always say that I want to be a, a better person than I was the day before. How much independence do you have in your daily life? I just do my own things. I don't make my mm -hmm. own stuff, money. I made more money than my mom last year. How does that make you feel knowing that you made more money than your mom last year? Pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> my life is good um, because um, for me, I always have apartment. So you live completely independently? Yes. How long have you had that apartment? 15 years. I really do like living um, by myself. My middle brother and I just moved out on, on our own together in an apartment. So I had now independence. Do you remember the feeling of when you got those keys for the first time that this was your place? It felt awesome. It felt like a, a renewed <laughs> person. It felt like I was Matthew 2.0. Matthew 2.0, what's up? Some people might assume that people with Down syndrome can't or don't have romantic relationships. Are you currently in a relationship? Yes. I want to learn a Malibu when I get married to my boyfriend and I'm going to Because oh. I need like someone to live with. And who do you think that person might be? <laughs> my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> we started developing the relationship in December of 2013. And I just loved her ever since. She and I have been doing a, a lot of stuff together to further our relationship. And in fact, it was actually her idea and, and she wants to do dancing with the stars. I was like, wait a minute, I, I can see myself doing that with you. And the first day we got in, we just learned the basics and then she and I just fell in love with it. Like, like you could say, we were addicted to bottom dancing and over a year later, we've done two showcases. I can't believe people underestimate you. I don't know anyone that could ballroom dance, to be honest. I don't know anyone who can. You said you want to have kids, but then there's some things holding you up. I considered that in freshman year in high school, where you have to do that baby project and I regretted yeah. doing that. <laughs> It's just too much because the baby baby would have Down syndrome because all of our genetics, including our Down syndrome genetics, pass down to the child and that will be the same mm -hmm. deficits. It would be tough for you with limitations to help uh, a child with limitations. Yes, and then I can't do that without adding strain to my parents. What are some of your passions? Dancing has been my life since I was five years old. I know how to learn to dance a lot sometimes, but it's really cool. Theater is part of my passion. Mm. So the people and just how I would become a pretty good actor. I always go through that script. I always remember all the people's lines. You knew everyone's lines. Yes, <laughs> everything. You act like that's easy. You know that's not easy for people to do, right? 
I know, yeah. If someone else forgot their line, would you say, I know it? I would say, monkey, um, um, uncle. And I would say, hey, hey, um, please don't do that. And then he would say, oh, I am a jerk. I was asking you what you would say when they needed help, and you literally pulled the line out from 20 years ago, and you said verbatim what you would say to help them with their line. Why? Because I, I always did not being, you know, um, smart. I always keep on, you know, uh, reading and reading, and it's got it. So humble, our humble king. Oh yeah, the humble king. <laughs> You have multiple jobs, is that right? I'm an entrepreneur. I, I have a public speaking business. And, and with that, I, I was able to do a, a TEDx talk. The others are, are more part-time. And that's, I work at 321 Coffee, a coffee shop where individuals with IDD run the coffee shop. We do everything. People with disabilities often hear the word no because they immediately seem that we're too, too slow in, in doing stuff. But in truth, we're, we're not slow. Consider in hiring us because really studies prove that that we are valuable, we're punctual, we're loyal, and we're reliable. Do you feel like you are representing the Down syndrome community whenever you're out there entertaining, starring in a movie with A-list actors? Before we continue learning about the world of Down syndrome. I don't get a stutter uh, at all. I always keep on reading my script. I want to let you in on a little secret. Come here. We have a couple other episodes that you might be interested in, like I spent a day with autistic people, people with Tourette syndrome, and people with schizophrenia, all of which are available here, but also on the uncensored podcast version of this show. And while you're here, I'd also like to thank you for sitting through these sponsor segments, because without them, many of these episodes wouldn't be possible. So huge thank you to Purple, for continuing to sponsor and support this series. Purple mattresses, of course, provide incredible comfort while you sleep by using what they call the grid, which is this revolutionary ventilated design that allows air to flow through it so you can stay cool all night without flipping your pillow halfway through the night. Which, if I'm being honest, is one of the things that prevents me from getting a thorough night's sleep because I wake up with my face smashed down and my neck completely massacred. But not with purple. The grid supports and cushions my head in a harmoniously beautiful way I had not ever previously fathom. And right now, you'll support this series and get 10% off any order of $200 or more by going to purple.com slash Padilla and using promo code Padilla. Again, that's purple.com slash Padilla. And with promo code Padilla, you'll get 10% off any order of $200 or more. Terms apply, of course, so you better hurry up. And we're just getting started because I'd also like to thank DoorDash for the continued partnership. Maybe you're like me and Kennedy and you forget to think about food until you're absolutely hangry, or you just want a home-cooked guilty pleasure, but don't feel like going to the grocery store and huffing all that pre-breathing air. DoorDash connects you with everything you want whenever and however you want it. With over 300,000 partners, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national treasures like Pizza Hut or Applebee's. Ordering is very easy and your items can be left safely outside your door when you choose contactless delivery drop-off so you don't even have to acknowledge the existence of other human beings on this planet if you don't want to. And for a limited time, our viewers and listeners of the podcast will get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code Padilla. That's 25% off up to $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app and enter code Padilla. Subject to change, terms apply, so be quick and nimble, please. Now, back to the world of Down syndrome. Do you feel like you are representing the Down syndrome community whenever you're out there entertaining, starring in a movie with A-list actors? Yes, I am. And for me, E is about one thing. Be yourself. Does acting help or change change you in any way? I would say about my acting, I don't get a stutter uh, at all. I always keep on reading my script. You only stutter when you don't quite know what you're going to say next and you're trying to process the information, but when you know exactly what you're gonna say with a script, you can just say it straight through? Oh yeah, Juliet, 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 my love, Juliet, my love. Is that the scene of in Romeo and Juliet where 
<laughs> where Romeo dies? Yes. I know everything about uh, my life. What is it about having Down syndrome that brings you the most joy? I just love myself because I want to be a really cool, independent woman. Sometimes I get very happy when I'm different, and I would say I'm glad to be, di to be different. Down syndrome is a gift. It feels like a, an added part to my, li my life. If there's anyone watching who has Down syndrome and is struggling to fit in or to be understood, is there anything that you want to say to them? Be strong be brave and be fearless and be capable to be independent. And you can do it. Talk to your, talk to your parents and, and find ways to help each other out. And if you're, you're an adult, advocate to your, your parents that you, you want to do more stuff and that will prompt your parents to, to, to give you or find any necessary resources. All right, you got five seconds to shout out to promote anything you want directly into camera. Go. Please visit MatthewSchwabSpeaks.com if you want to purchase my merchandise, recommend me for speaking engagements, or book me for any speaking engagements. I am in the um, At Last on the HBO Max, God Save the Queen. Follow me on my social media. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. I encourage, encourage all of you guys to watch anything Padilla. All, all, the, all his videos are awesome. Well, there you have it. I spent a day with people with Down syndrome and I realized how much I could learn about effortless self-compassion and focusing forward rather than focusing on hurtful memories of the past. If we could find a way to truly absorb these lessons, maybe we could experience more of what life really has to offer. My mom uh, walked up to me and said, uh, you have Down syndrome. She just walked up to you and told you? And then I said, like, wow. And then the other time, my mom Knocked at my door, it said, clean your room, Kennedy. And it, and it said, um, no thanks, I, I, I have Dutch syndrome. <laughs> you found a way to make it a good excuse not to clean your room. <laughs>